Look what's happening in San Francisco. It is hard to operate business in the state of California, and it's our responsibility to do everything that we can. Lawmakers introduced a new bill that would lock away thieves on the spot in an effort to address rising retail theft across the state. Good evening. I'm Monty Torres. And I'm Liz Gonzalez. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. A Los Angeles area assembly member introduced AB 1990 with support from both sides of the aisle. She says crooks are aware that there is little to no harsh penalties, so they continue committing the crimes. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco continues our relentless coverage on the issue of retail theft and explains what this bill would do to crooks all across the state. Myra? Yeah, Monty and Liz, we've seen it happen over and over and over again. Crooks target stores. Many get away with only a citation. Now a bill aims to give law enforcement more tools to get the crooks off the street. It is our responsibility to confront a problem that has been increasingly worsening over time. Assemblymember Wendy Carrillo is talking about organized retail theft, a problem affecting not just her district in Los Angeles, but every part of the state. You know, this issue affects our retailers large and small. Um, and, and, and our small businesses especially have been an increasing target of retail theft. Carrillo and co-authors of the bill, including Merced County Assemblymember Juan Alaniz, held a news conference Wednesday to introduce AB 1990, the Secure Transaction and Organized Theft Prevention, or STOP Act. The bill aims to hold suspected shoplifters accountable for their actions. First by one, permitting a peace officer to arrest a suspect without a warrant for a misdemeanor shoplifting charge if the officer has probable cause that the individual has engaged in shoplifting. Meaning an officer can still make an arrest even if the officer didn't witness a crime. The current law is uh, cite and release. Carrillo says it's time to stop giving thieves a so-called get-out-of-jail-free card. Assemblymember Alani says this bill brings real solutions and increases public safety. When I came to Sacramento, with nearly three decades of law enforcement uh, behind me, I made a promise to everybody that I would work with others who were trying to do the same to try and make California safer. And uh, this STOP Act does just that. It checks all the boxes. Figures from some of California's biggest cities show the problem of retail theft continues to get worse. Los Angeles police say there was an 81% increase in shoplifting reports from 2020 to 2023. Prosecutors there say they filed more than 200 cases of organized retail theft last year. Monty Liz. Thank you, Myra. 81% increase. Yeah. Last fall, the state announced a nearly $270 million grant program to help cities and law enforcement agencies fight back against retail theft. And as we reported last night here at 10, some cities are already putting that money to use, including Clovis Police, who tell us that that investment is already paying off.